So, hello, good afternoon. Um, first of all, thank you to Lanzin to invite us. Um, I think um, Jordescon picked our words because also we wanted to tell you that um, Lanzin is very nice. It's a platform who inspires us um, every day and it's very nice uh, for the métier that there exists a website or a platform who shows uh, landscape architecture, so thank you. Um, thank you also maybe uh, for, the, for the award. We are uh, pleased and happy to receive it, uh, but at the same time we don't feel heroes. Uh, we think that everybody who is working on nice outdoor spaces uh, are winners. We are Studio Basta. We are a small company in garden and landscape architecture, like you see. We work uh, through different scales, through different budgets. Um, it doesn't matter, the size doesn't matter, the budget doesn't matter. If we have the chance to make nice, uh, nice spaces and uh, we can have joy and, and poetical spaces, um, we do it, uh, so we are happy. We make private gardens, um, like you see semi-public spaces, but also uh, public spaces. And what is important in our work, uh, the genius loci. So we always uh, spend a lot of time of analyzing our site, because it's very important to read the genius loci, the spirit of the place, the elements who are already uh, inside, who are important to continue on. And uh, for us also, contextual integration is very important. Um, we think that these are two, two focus points who are uh, important to work on it because we like that when we finished the project, you never see that we come. Um, and another element who is very interesting and very focus point in our work is visitation. We like uh, the power of vegetation for us it's, it's, it's a stone it's a vocabulary uh, where we work with it uh, that we like because uh, yeah, we think uh, it gives us a good feeling um, so it's very important and so we did uh, for the project uh, of the residential housing that you appreciated Coto uh, San Barbe it was a project who, for us, uh, started... Uh, well, maybe I will tell you this. Um, the, red, uh, the red bullet uh, is Brussels in Belgium, Geneva, and then the site where I will speak on it is the black one. It's uh, in the region, the Ardennen. So the region is like, uh, you can say, a small, small topography, hilly, uh, very green and rocky. And... Um, I like the call uh, of the project leader, of the developer, who called me one day and told me we were planned to <coughs> do a developing of 68 apartments and lofts, but we have a problem, the spot is very difficult. It's a, it's a place with a, a very high slope, <coughs> rocky slope, and he, tell, he told me there is a lot of wild plantation and I don't know if we have to cut it down and clean it up to make a nice space. Um, so we went, on, we went on the spot and we saw exactly uh, the slope, like you see here on the picture. It was a rocky slope with wild plantation. Um, this is also a site a picture. You see the slope on the, at the back and what was nice also is the the visitation on the railway track uh, on the right side. So when I was there, I feel a lot of visitation. I feel a landscape. And for me, or for us, the so-called problems, uh, they were quality. And the concept was very clear, uh, but we checked it uh, at home. We did some analysis and you see this is the spot, the site. Um, and what you see in the landscape is that the landscape is um, an eruption of the river. It's a valley. It's a valley. It's the river um, uh, Maas and 
and uh, the Samba who came together and there is a, a kind of eruption, it's a valley and you see literally on, on the side of our spot the, the very steep hill, the very steep uh, hill planted um, and you see on the other side the citadel so we're really working on the foot of this kind of valley and landscape who was for us a very important element and a very important start uh, of the project. See also on old pictures of old uh, maps, you can really feel this valley and the site is here. So for us the concept was very simple, it's all about contextual integration. So we wanted to make a project where you simply feel we are living in a landscape, we don't make gardens, but we live in an existing landscape. And we use two simple design principles, where the first one is the trickle down of the vegetation. So for us it was clear that we wanted this wild plantation just trickle down till the street and just put the building in this landscape. You see the plan of this concept. What was a pity is that we were involved a bit too late, that we couldn't uh, have uh, an influence on the configuration, composition of the building, because if it was possible, I think, we would cut the building maybe in two parts or in three parts to show the landscape with back of the building on the people at the street. But at this case we didn't have the opportunity, so we only get a chance to bring the landscape to the street on the left side of the building and bring it so on to the front. A second principle that was very important in this design was the subtile organization of limits. We like and on the same projects, we work very hard on the limit between the private and the collective. We are always looking to make a livable space and for us it means that people have to connect, to see each other, to feel each other, to have a connection and for that we don't want that the gardens or closed gardens. And we work very hard in maquette and in this kind of drawings to study how we can plant uh, the walls, in this case the walls of the private gardens to have a contact at maximum with the landscape and with the other inhabitants of the site. <clears throat> we, we studied some types of uh, how we plant the walls in relation with landscape and your neighbor. And for us this is the summary picture. This is the picture we show our concept, our ideas. We trickle down the plantation, the landscape. I always say, till the plate in the cuisine, in the kitchen. It comes really to you. And by playing with the walls, having a higher wall from your neighbor with something further, bringing down your own wall from your own private garden, we don't give a garden but we give a landscape, and that's very important. The people, they bought 20 square meter garden, and they get like 5,000, uh, a garden of 5,000 square meter. Here you see some pictures, how it works. What is important also in the materials, in this case we used walls, we like to work also with material from the site in this region, the natural bluestone is well known, and uh, you can you can uh, uh, TV um, the natural stone, and we reused we used this kind of material in relation with his rocky natural stone in the landscape, and what is important also that the material and his, his colors are in combination with the architecture. From the private gardens, who are like cut downs in this slope and in this landscape, 
you can come up, right? the, the walls are very less, very low, and with a simple structure of, in this case, concrete uh, prefab stones, we managed to, to, take, uh, to, to walk through the topo topography of the landscape and to collect uh, private to collective, like this part. This part is the part who um, is the collective part where people from their own garden can come uh, to this part and go through the landscape and go up and up till they come to an upper part, in this case a uh, lawn, a grass lawn where people have some barbecues, sits, uh, frisbee, uh, football, etc. And on this upper part we have also uh, a water structure, a water structure who get all the water from the slope because there was a big uh, water pressure from the slope uh, till the building. So we we kept the water in this kind of structure and we can infiltrate in the in the in the underground uh, slowly. The structure brings also natural life. So we have we planted uh, 50,000 plants and shrubs and trees, uh, but in this part we didn't plant a lot and it's just nature who comes. It brings also reflection, you see the reflection of the building, uh, which is quite, uh, quite nice. And here you can see a kind of overview of the simple structure, trigger down the, 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 the plants and just a simple structure of walls and pavement to have the circulation from private to collective and there is no, no more than that. With this slide I want to say that um, for a good project we need uh, a good developer. We need a developer who, who understands our concept, who has, uh, who say okay, let's do it and who also have at certain moment uh, financial ambition. So in this case we worked with, we worked with the Basic Red uh, and they gave us the opportunity to, to build this concept. Then we are the artist, uh, we are maybe the, the designer. And the third part uh, was very important to have a successful project of a nice project is the constructor. Um, it's very important what we draw, that we have a constructor, construction team who work hard in bad days, in rain, uh, maybe sometimes in this case in snow. But people will work very hard to construct our project and it's all, only when we work together that, uh, that we have a nice project. Um, so I will say uh, this award is also for them. Thanks.